This is an AI SaaS for e-commerce. Before you go, would you be interested if I could offer you a special discount to complete your purchase today? Today, I'll show you how to recreate their entire solution in minutes so that you can start to sell it to e-commerce stores yourself and you won't have to write a single line of code. Let's get into it. This platform is called avasales.ai and they're the world's first conversational AI for e-commerce. And what the SaaS does is recovers abandoned checkouts by using an outbound AI voice agent that's going to call people after they abandon their cart and say, hey, how are you doing? Is there anything I can help you out with? I noticed you abandoned your cart at checkout. Then they can ask back and forth, answer any questions, etc. But the key thing is that they can send a discount code or make a special offer to people who have abandoned cart. And if the customer is interested, it will send an SMS to the customer with a link to return to the checkout and the discount code included. Here we can see a little demo. Amanda, who's this? Hi, this is Lexi with Nectar Energy. I just noticed you left some items in your cart. Did you have any questions about your order? Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Okay, well, before you go, do you want me to check if I can get you a discount? Uh, no, it's all right. I'm just browsing right now. Um, let me see what I can do for you, Amanda. Tries to get a sure. attempt okay, to give them an offer. Great. Just a heads up, this code is only valid until the end of the day. Short of an emergency, would there be any reason you can't use it tonight? Uh, no. Great. So you can just click that link to return to your checkout, and we'll ship your product straight to you. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, sounds good. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you, Amanda. I hope you have... And so there's the system. It's fairly simple sales script. It's going to ask them how they're doing, if there's any reason that they abandoned the checkout. And then it's going to push for sending them an SMS containing a discount code and a link to recover their checkout. Here you can see that the call cost was 12 cents and they recovered 37 just from this example here. So I saw this and I thought, that sounds a lot like Air AI and it sounds like we could do this pretty easily with the right tools. And so that's what I've done. And better yet, I found a way to do it using absolutely zero code using a new platform that I've just talked about on the channel recently, which is called Zapier Central. Now, this is particularly interesting because if you've been in the space for a while, you know that e-commerce has been one of those niches that everyone wants to make solutions for, but it's been pretty tricky to find something that actually provides a lot of value. Yes, you can make a customer support agent, but this kind of solution for e-commerce is so powerful because you're directly driving revenue for the business. This is recovering these abandoned carts, which was going to be lost revenue anyway. So using an AI outbound system to just dial all of these, spend a few cents to try and recover it is a massive win for the business. So I'm super excited to show you guys how to do this and for you guys to start selling this to your own customers. The way we're going to be building this, as mentioned, is on Zapier Central. We're going to be setting up an abandoned cart trigger. So whenever an abandoned cart is left, it's going to trigger an automation. And then that automation is going to send an outbound phone call with the information from the abandoned cart. And then on that call, the AI agent from Bland AI, which we're going to be using for this build, is going to attempt to send them a discount code and get confirmation that they want to get the discount and continue their purchase. To get things started, we need to create an account on Zapier if you haven't already. We're going to be using their new automation builder called Central, which I've covered recently on a video here if you want to check that out for some more background on it. Um, but we're going to be jumping straight into Central and building this thing out now. Once we're into Zapier Central, we want to create a new bot here on the left. Once we've created a new bot, we can give it a name, call it Abandoned Cart Recovery. And then we need to start setting up what's called behaviors in Zapier Central. Now Zapier Central allows us to knit together a bunch of different automations. For example, a trigger for an abandoned cart to a send an outbound voice using Bland AI. And we can knit together all of these different actions without having to line them up in sequence like we've traditionally had to do with automations. By putting in instructions or prompting it here, we can instruct it how to chain together these actions. It's really, really cool. You guys are gonna wanna stick around for this. So first things first, the trigger for this action needs to be an abandoned cart, of course. So if we can go here and search up Shopify, Shopify, the action we want to be triggering based off is a new abandoned cart. I've already set up my connection, but if you don't have one already, you need to create a Shopify account and you need to set up the store as you like, put a couple of dummy products on it. Once you have that ready to go, you can come back here and follow the setup wizard to connect your store to Zapier. And once you have this connection set up, it's fairly easy to do. Then we want to set up some information like this, the abandoned cart age, let's put it at 0.1 hours and continue. Now we have this trigger of new abandoned cart. What you want to do is go over to your Shopify backend. What I like to do here is search for consent and we go to consent for marketing and check out here. And if we scroll down, you can see the marketing options of email and SMS. In order to be able to legally call these people, they need to have opted in for our SMS. So this isn't going to get every single abandoned cart, but it will get ones where they provided their phone number and they've also consented to SMS marketing. What's handy to do here is to make sure that the shipping address phone number is either optional or required. What this does is give us another way that we can capture their phone number in the checkout process. So make sure the SMS is checked, either optional or required shipping number. When we save that, then if I go through to my checkout, if I fill some things in the cart, let's put maybe two of these things in here. Let me go to checkout. We want to create some dummy data that's gonna allow us to test this 
within Zapier Central. And then here we can put in a phone. When you're doing this, make sure you put the phone that you want to be receiving the testing calls to. So in this case, I'm going to use my Skype number so that I can receive them here on my computer. And here's the SMS consent, which is accept updates on my order by phone. Then we can put in the same phone number here as well. If you want to customize the text here like I have to be accept updates on my order by phone so that you get more opt-ins, we can go to the customized sign-up labels here and that same menu within the Shopify backend. And then you go to the theme settings here. And as you scroll down, you'll see checkout and marketing, accept SMS checkbox label, and you can make this whatever you want. So in my case, accept updates on my order by phone. Sounds like it's got some benefit to them rather than just, I think the default is text me with using offers. So changing it a little bit might increase those opt-in rates. So now if we go down here, we can put a bunch of rubbish in here. Now that we've filled out all this dummy data, we can close the page and we can go back to Zapier. And while we give our abandoned cart a little bit of time to do its thing and trigger, as you can see, we've got an abandoned cart age here of 0.1 hours. So we need to give it a little bit of time for it to process through the system. In the meantime, we can set up the next step, which is going to be using bland AI which is going to be what we use for our outbound phone call. And we're going to do send a phone call here. First thing you need to do is set up your Bland AI connection. So there'll be a link down below to sign up to Bland AI. This is not sponsored video. No one's sponsoring this. I'm not making a dive from any of these platforms. Bland AI is just a handy one that I've found with a Zapier action we can use, which makes it a lot easier than trying to have to do it the custom way. So over on Bland AI, you need to sign up to an account. Once you have your account set up, you need to come here and create a Bland AI connection. So mine's already connected. But in your case, it'll be connect a new connection and you go through this process of signing into Zapier and then you need to provide your API key from Bland, which you can find by clicking on your name here and on your API key section here and go to the API key section and you can either copy this or you need to create a new one. Then when you click on the profile here, you will have your name. This is the name you need to put in for the other field of setting up your Bland connection. This Bland AI task has a lot of things we need to fill out. First, we have the phone number of the person we're trying to call. This is going to be pulled from the prior step, the abandoned cart data that's going to be grabbed from Shopify. The Zapier Central AI is going to be able to autofill this so we can leave this as AI generate the value. And for the task here, we're going to need to create a full prompt, which I've already written for you, which I'll show you in a second. This task is basically describing what the AI should do on the call, who it is, the prompt, basically all of the instructions in the script for what it should be following, which we'll get to in a second. Reduce latency, we can set to true. Voice, we can set to the default one for now. Request data, we can skip, so do not include a value for this. Answering machine detection, we can go false for now. Webhook, do not include for this field. For from, we can go don't include a value for this field. Transfer phone number, do not include a value for this field. For record, we're going to set it to a specific value of false, just so we're all in the clear here legally. Wait for greeting, we're going to set this to a specific value and change it to false. For the first sentence, we're going to leave this to AI to generate. Language, we're going to set a specific value of English. Max duration, we can set it to a specific value of five minutes. Dynamic data, we can not include data for this. Interruption threshold, we can skip this one as well. For voice settings, we can skip this one. For should enabled answered by, we can do false. Start time, we can skip as well. In the model, we can select a specific value. And in this case, I like to choose the enhanced one. I find it performs the best. And for temperature, finally, let's set it this to 0.1. And once we have all of this information filled out, we can then add this as an action. Now we need to tell Zapier Central how to use these different actions in sequence which in this case, I've already created it all here. And we can copy this prompt over. This prompt will be available on my school community. It's for free to join down in the description. It'll be the first link there. And then when you go to the YouTube tab, once you're inside school, it might take a few minutes to be let in. But once you're inside school, there'll be a YouTube tab and you can click on the post related to this video. And there's gonna be all of the information required to copy this build. So this prompt, if I paste it in, it'll show you a little bit of where we're going here. But basically we're needing to give instructions about how the Zapier Central AI is able to use these different tasks. So the first step is to trigger this automation when a new abandoned cart is received. And then first, let's analyze the abandoned cart data to see if they've firstly accepted SMS marketing. And if they have, then look for a phone number anywhere in the data provider. That's why I toggled the shipping phone number option so that there's increased chance of us getting a more surface area for us to capture one of those phone numbers. Then if you find a phone number and they accept SMS marketing, then send a phone call to Bland AI to the number they provided. You then need to fill in the Bland AI task field. Again, what I mentioned before, Bland AI, we need to send a prompt away basically to tell this outbound phone call who it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to do, the script it's supposed to follow. And so to do so, input the following prompt describing the task. Make sure to replace the customer name variables with the customer name from the abandoned cart data. So you're starting to see how flexible the system is. It's using AI to cleverly connect these different apps together. 
So here we, have, here we have the start of the prompt or the task we're going to send off to Bland AI. Connect the Energy AI Voice Assistant script for abandoned cart follow-up. So you can pause the video and take a look at how this Bland AI task has been written. But basically this is based off the Ava Sales exact script word for word. So it's going to be Nick the Energy offering them if they want to get a discount. And at the end, it's going to be saying, hey, I'll send you an SMS with the information. From here up is what the AI is going to be auto filling that field in the Bland AI task. So it figures out that this is what we want to put in and it's going to send that off as part of the instructions to make the phone call. Now we can quickly fill out the rest of the actions to complete this automation. And then I'll take you through the prompt and how it's all tied together. So the next one is going to be using a delay by Zapier. So what we want to do is when the call is underway, we don't want to trigger the next step of the automation automatically. So what we can do is use a delay for and time delayed, set a specific value. We want to delay it for say five minutes and delay for a time unit of minutes. Add action. So that's what's going to happen while we're waiting for the phone call to complete. Because after that, we need to go back to bland AI. And we want to get the transcript this time using the same bland AI connection you had before. Then we have the call identifier, which is based off the outbound call we just sent. So the AI will have to insert this from the prior step. So again, very intelligently, it can look back into the bland AI information from the call that we sent and then pull the call identifier and automatically fill this part of the action. So we can add that there. Next, we need to go in and get a URL shortener by Zapier. We want to shorten the URL. And again, we're going to use the AI to autofill the input for this. The reason we have this URL shortening step is because in order to send the SMS, as you can see it here, in order to send this, the Shopify band and cart URLs are very, very long. And Twilio, what we're going to be using to send the follow-up SMS with the uh, discount code and the link to recover the checkout, doesn't let you send messages more than a 320 characters or something. I think it's default for all SMS messages anyway. But in order to get around this so that we can send the full URL, we're going to use a link shortener and Zapier has a handy one ready to go. And then finally, what we're going to do is use Twilio. So if you haven't already, you can head to Twilio and create an account. And in order to be able to send these SMSs, you're going to need to purchase a phone number. You can go buy a number here. You may have already had to do this for your bland AI account set up anyway. But once you have a number, you can purchase it here and you'll see it in active numbers once it's good to go. And then you can just go through the setup process of connecting your Twilio account here. Once you have it all set up, then for the from number, I'll pick a specific one of my numbers. Let's go this one. I'll have AI generate the data for this. And for the message, I'll also allow the AI to do it because we're going to give it it in the prompt. By now we have all of the actions added in that we're going to need to perform this automation. But you can see this final bit of the prompt here that is the glue that ties it all together. We've, we've been through how we're sending this prompt off to Bland AI to make the call. But the bit after this is where it gets interesting. So once you've sent the phone call, use the delay action to wait for five minutes to give time for the conversation to happen. Once the delay is complete, then you can use a get transcript action from Bland AI to fetch the call transcript. To get the transcript, you'll need to use the call ID you received from the send phone call step earlier to look up the call that just happened. So as I mentioned, you need the call identifier and we're going to pull this from earlier in the conversation and earlier in the automation by instructing it on how to get that information and where to use it. Once you have the transcript, what you're looking for on the call is if the voice assistant says they will send the customer the SMS with a link to check out and a discount code. If the assistant did mention sending some kind of SMS to the user, then you need to use the send SMS action from Twilio to send an SMS to the mobile number that we sent the call to earlier. So again, we're tying all of these actions together and instructing it in natural language, how to use it and the sort of conditional statements we want to cover here. So instead of using all the complex kind of tree diagrams and stuff like this, we can just say, well, if this happens, do this, if this happens, do this. And as you can see here, if the transcript does not appear to have the full contents of a call, e.g. it's just got the, the first few lines of it, it may have fetched it before the call is finished. So I instruct it here. If this appears to be the case, try to fetch the transcript up to three more times in an attempt to determine if the SMS needs to be sent. If after trying this three times, there's still no mention of sending an SMS to the user, then abandon this process entirely, go no further. As you'll see when we test it, the delay by Zapier doesn't really work within Central at the moment. So this is my kind of little workaround. And then we get into the final bit of sending this SMS. So if they mention sending an SMS, then we need to convert the abandoned cart recovery URL into a shortened URL using the shortened URL action. Once you have the shortened URL, the SMS content should be as followed. Make sure you replace the variables in the data from their abandoned cart as the variables clearly show. So high first name, pulling the information from the abandoned cart. Your 20% discount code is nectar 20 Complete your purchase here. And we're using new line characters to make sure that it's formatted nicely in the SMS. 
complete your purchase here. Then I have a dummy variable put in here of shortened abandoned cart recovery link. Cheers, new line, Martin, the Nectar Energy team. Now, we might actually, here we have the AI assistant is called Connor. So let's stick in line with, with that. So let's make it in line with that. Make sure this SMS is less than 320 characters and contains no emojis or it will be truncated by the Twitter API. So once we've done that, I can click done. And it's time to give this a spin. So if we want to test it firstly, we can just click test here. Let's go to create a new thread. This is how Zapier Central works. You've got like a one action is represented by one of these blocks. And then, and then it has this thread that can pop out on the side. So new abandoned cart, we can see all the data here. This is the phone number I put into the abandoned cart at checkout. And then SMS consent collected. The consent for the SMS marketing has been included as well. If we go down, it does take quite a while. The Zapier Essential isn't the fastest platform at the moment, but in a second, we should receive a call from this bland AI step we've set up. Here you can see the data from the abandoned cart. We have the SMS marketing consent collected from Shopify level single opt-in. So we've consented to the SMS marketing. We, have the, we also have the phone number that was left at checkout as well. And this gives us the information we need to go into the next step. So here we go. Oh, here we have the call coming in. I can answer it on my phone here. Hey guys, just finishing up the edit for this video here and I wanted to throw in that I'm going to be doing a giveaway slash hackathon and a prize associated. So a thousand dollars is going to be up for grabs for the best Zapier central solution idea. I think there's only so much my brain can do. I want to give this to you guys as a community to come up with awesome new ideas and also get, have the chance to win a bit of money for it as well. So if you want to be part of that and you have some cool ideas that you think you can contribute to the community and come up with and you can join the free school community down below, there'll be a post attached to it with the thousand dollar prize and you can join the conversation there. So back to the video. Hello, is this Liam Oddly? Yeah, who's this? Hi, this is Connor with Nectar Energy. I've noticed you left some items in your cart. Do you have any questions about your order? Uh, no, I just, I just wasn't ready to check out, sorry. I understand and I appreciate your interest in our products. Before you go, would you be interested if I could offer you a special discount to complete your purchase today? Yes, yeah, sure. How much is the discount for? Great, please give me just a moment. I'm checking to see what I can do for you. Fantastic news, Liam Otley. I can offer you a 20% discount on your entire order. This code is valid until the end of the day. Would there be any reason you couldn't use it tonight? No, I should be able to do it. I've sent you a text with the discount code and a link to return to your checkout. You can complete your purchase and we'll ship your product straight away. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's all. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty, so that call went well. As you can see, we're getting these errors from the delay from Zapier. I think this is something to do with them not being compatible with Central yet. But anyway, it does the job of delaying this thing uh, to give us time for the transcript to be fully complete so that we can analyze it properly. So while it says there's an error happening, it's still kind of doing its job of delaying the next step. Uh, so as you can see here, it should do a transcript analysis right now. Yep, action in progress. So if we open up the Blad AR Get transcript, you can see that we've got the whole transcript and it splits it into nice messages down here. So if we go down a little bit, we can see um, fantastic news, I'll offer you a discount code. I've just sent you a text with a discount code and a link to return to checkout. So yes, the transcript does contain something saying we're gonna send them the link and that's what the AI is looking for. Then it's using the next action we instructed it to use which was to shorten that abandoned cart URL so that we can send it via an SMS. And then we've sent it via SMS. We can see all the data here. Yep, all good to go. And the final step to make sure this has all worked, you may have heard that my Skype notification went off if I go to Skype. Yep, and we have our text here. Hi Liam, your 20% off discount code is Nectar20. Complete your purchase here. Cheers, Connor and the Nectar Energy team. And just like that, we've been able to recreate this AI e-commerce SaaS just by using Zapier Central without writing a single line of code. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the potential of this technology. As I mentioned in my earlier Zapier Central video, I think this stuff is the best thing that's happened for beginners trying to get into the AI automation agency space and create systems and build solutions for businesses to allow them to adopt AI and I almost forgot the final thing you need to do to turn this thing live and get this to work on every single abandoned card that comes through for your client store or for your own is to click on this behaviors down here, turn the switch to on, and now every abandoned card that comes through is gonna go through this process here. And you'll be able to see it in this activity tab going through behind the scenes. This is just a particularly awesome example and I'm sorry to the guys at Ava Sales, you guys do a really cool stuff, but um, I think a lot of people are gonna be jumping on this opportunity too now, but hey, that's how the uh, capitalist system works and new inventions and new technology like this allows us to uh, more people to get in and compete with you so if you've enjoyed the video and gotten anything out of it please hit down below and leave a like and hit that subscribe button while you're down there if you want to be in the loop for more ai solutions like this that you can very easily create 
and sell to businesses. That's what we're all about here on this channel. So as I mentioned, the prompt to create, this is gonna be available in my free school community. So if you're not already on there, you can join for free. It'll be in the YouTube resources tab. You can get this exact prompt and rebuild this in a few minutes. If you wanna see my other video, Breaking Down Zapier Central, it's gonna be available here. But aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.